Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to call store procedure in OLDP source while using data flow task in SPS. So first of all, I will show my table and I will show the logic of my store procedure. So this is my table. ICC underscore cricket is my table which is in, in my sports database. So it contains 30 rows. So ICC gave a ranking to that um, batsman who performed well in 2022, gave top 10 rankings in, in three different formats, that is T20, ODA and Test. So total number of rows here is 30 rows and each format contains 10 records. Now I, I am creating one store procedure based on the logic. If I want to give any rank, that is rank 3, rank 4, rank 1. If I provide rank as the input parameter, I want to get all these de details of the batsman. For that, in that way, I am creating a short procedure now. Create, proc, get, get details by. rank this is my store procedure name so i am passing here one input parameter so rank rank id as the input parameter and the integer is my data type as begin and so between begin and end you need to write full logic select start from this table. So if you want any specific columns, you need to mention the column, but I want uh, all the details from this table. Where, so here I am writing this rank column name. I am mapping this column name rank to input parameter. And I am creating the procedure. Yeah, procedure has created successfully. Now, what I am doing here is execute this procedure. EXEC procedure name. So, it is asking me one input parameter, rank ID. This is my input parameter. Suppose I give the rank as 1 and execute this one. Get all the details of the rank 1 players in three different forms. If you want to cross check the Sir Kumar Yadav, Babaraji, Manas, Lambasian. These three players are the rank one. So if you want to give fifth rank, you can get all the fifth rank players in Tukhne. Edin Markham, Imam Hulak, Jorbut. These are the fifth rank players in three different formats. This is how my structure will work in this case. So, what I am doing now is before creating a package here, I want to create one variable. Variable name is here, is user variable. I am creating an ID, just ID. So, uh, Value I am giving here 4. That means 4th rank. User, ID, user variable ID, name is ID. I am giving value rank. That means after running the package, you will get the 4th rank details. Function the 4 here. Good. So these details you can get after running the package. So first data flow task so double click to configure so since my table is ICC and get we used to take the OLDB source to read the data from the table. I'm dragging the OLDB source double click go to new so here my database name is sports database I'm 
to the, to the database. So instead of selecting the table, I, here I am using the SQL command just to execute my store procedure and copy the store procedure exec and get store procedure name and after that it take the input parameter is equal to question mark so this question mark it will get the value from the user variable which we have created just now go to parameters and select your user variable we already created one id variable i am selecting the variable so if it is the output be output parameter you will not select output here the, this variable is related to input parameter so i, I am giving the, the parameter name here rank id rank id is my go to columns so since we are taking select star from, from the table it will get all columns so select your column if you want any specific column you have to mention those specific columns in the in the store procedure so that you will get only that column so here i want to get all columns and taking him clicking okay now I am dragging. I don't want to load this in any table or any flat file destination. I just want to show how the uh, store executing the store procedure by using the OLD resource. For that reason, I am taking multi cache transformation. So you need to enable the data viewer in between. Data viewer and enable the data viewer and click OK. So once you run the package, we already provided the value for ID as for you remember. So you can get details of the fourth rank player in three formats. So I am running the package. So this is the multicast output data. So we already shown in, in after executing the fourth rank, these three um, players Devon Conway, Filton Decock, Travis Head. So, like that, in a, in a sales package, also Devon Conway, Travis Head, and Filton Decock. If we change the logic here, if we change the value, so here I want to change the value from 4 to 1. I am providing value as 1 and close run the package then you can get only from rank 1 players in 3 different formats Surka Mariada, Bukhanpoji and Marcus Lambaschi see here rank 1 players so this is how you need to you need to start the store procedure Source. So once again, I am repeating. So, how many parameters you have in the based on your parameters, you need to create your variables. So, here in this case, I just use one parameter. If you want to more than one, you need to get more than one variables. After that, you have to configure the task and the OLDB source. So, in the OLDB source, instead of selecting the table are viewed directly you just mention your store procedure and uh, whatever the parameters you have you, you just mention with question mark so here if, if, we, if there are uh, two parameters just you have to mention suppose there is a country also there country is equal to question mark like that you have to give so in this case i just use the one parameter input parameter and that's why i am taking only one parameter. So in parameter mapping, this is very critical here. You have to select your variables as per the as per your input parameter. So if there is country, you have to first you have created your variable country and you have to map with the input parameter country name. So afterwards you have to select whether it is input or output. So 
So this is how we need to do. It will get the data from columns also as per your requirement. If you want to specify any specific columns in the Visual Procedure, you, you can get only those columns. Here I, I press one star. That's why I can get all these columns in the table. Call the Visual Procedure in OLDB source. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.